Big day in Westwood. UCLA set to introduce Deshaun Foster as its new head coach. Former Bruin All-American running back spent the last seven seasons on Chip Kelly's staff as their running backs coach. He had actually left for the NFL over the past couple of weeks, accepting a job as the Raiders running back coach. But A.D. Martin Jarman lured him back to Westwood after Kelly left to become the offensive coordinator at Ohio State. Got a very warm reception from the players <laughs> yesterday. As we welcome you in to our Big Ten Network studios, Dave Revson, Anthony Heron. Interesting hire here, Ant. The timing, obviously, is fascinating with Chip Kelly's departure. We were talking on Big Ten today a little bit earlier how excited the players clearly were. This is one of those hires, though, that I think you kind of look at and you say, hey, time's going to tell. It was a securitous route for Deshaun Foster right. to briefly leave the program and then come back to his alma mater. But the excitement that was there is apparent within the players in that locker room. And I think a part of what Martin Jarman, the athletic director in Westwood, will hope is that it also infuses additional excitement into the fan base. It certainly hasn't been dormant, but maybe has been, you know, plateaued a bit in recent years despite some success that's been there on the field. Three consecutive winning seasons right now. Yep. Entering the Big Ten in football, UCLA would be somewhere in the middle of the pack for wins on the field the last three years here. Recruiting has plateaued a bit as well. So I think on the whole, if you can bring in someone who is an alma mater, one of the all-time greats. We've seen that in recent vintage in the Big Ten just for players who have a history on the field with their program. And it's been a lot of success that Deshaun Foster's had as a coach for the Bruins as well. Now, beyond being an assistant coach, now getting the opportunity to take over the entire program. There's a lot of unknown associated with it, but I've seen as far as the social media reaction, a lot of folks very hopeful for what can come. Has had a lot of success. We mentioned running backs coach here. Last two years, UCLA has led the Pac-12 in rushing, something they hadn't done since the mid-70s. Again, a little background on Foster was a great high school player. In fact, was the national player of the year in high school went to UCLA from Orange County and then became a coach after an excellent NFL career. He is a Hall of Famer at UCLA and again seven seasons as the Bruins running backs coach and look part of the challenge here Anthony and something you and I talked about on Big Ten today is the unproven part not only has he not been a head coach he hasn't been a coordinator and I'm sure he will have to answer questions about that today. Let's throw it out to Wayne Cook, who, of course, is a former Bruin quarterback and their sideline reporter. He is our MC. Uh, lots of smiles in the room. Before I let uh, our athletic director talk, and I do this to him a lot, I, I, I talk first. Um, Sean Foster. You know, I was asked to make some connections maybe to what Coach Terry Donahue did years ago. At, at UCLA because he was a homegrown, someone that came from within the program and, and had an amazing career. But we all know the tagline that went along with that was the gutty little Bruins. This dude right now here has not fit that. <laughs> he is an absolute superstar. As a running back, he ran through you, over you, around you. He was an All-American. He has won at every single level. He won in high school. He won in college, yes, we went to a Rose Bowl with Deshaun Foster, and he played in a Super Bowl, scored a touchdown. This dude is an absolute winner, and I am so excited that he is our next head coach. So, Deshaun, congratulations, man. I, I'm blown away. And, 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 hey, you can't cry this early. You got to talk. No, you got to remember, he's got bad allergies. These are bad <laughs> allergies. He told me that already. Well, and I'll, I'll say it too, and everybody in this room knows this, and we've been talking. Um, he's also a, a, a top-notch top human being. One of the nicest people you'll, you'll ever meet. He's got a smile. That, that <laughs> just look at it. I mean, you just got it. Why don't you wear the tape today, man? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so anyway, um, I know that, that, that Martin wants to talk. So UCLA's Allison Nam Liner, Family Director of Athletics, Mr. Martin Jarman. Thank you. Um, I want to make sure I get this right so I do have some prepared remarks. Uh, good morning. Uh, I want to thank everyone that is here today. Uh, especially our athletic department teammates, thank you for being here. Uh, we're all excited as we are here to introduce 
Deshaun Foster is our next football coach. First off, I would like to thank all our colleagues who assisted with our search from our senior executive team. In particular, thank you to Josh Rebholtz. Thank you, Josh. Christina Munger Rivera. Christina's over there. Thank you. And Aaron Atkins, right there. Thank you, Aaron. We spent a lot of time together these last few days, and we wouldn't all be here today if I didn't have their feedback, their assistance, and their guidance. So thank you to them. I would also like to thank Chancellor Block for his support throughout this process. We are extremely grateful for everything that he does for our athletics program. I'd like to speak briefly about our search and about the process, because as some, as some people have indicated, the timing here was a bit unusual. I've always said that in this ever-evolving world of college athletics, you've got to stay on your feet. You've got to be nimble, and you've got to be prepared for anything. We feel great about our process. Yes, it happened quickly, but I'm sitting up here today with the right man for this job. Like the often used quote from Coach Wooden, be quick, but don't hurry. So a little bit about our search process. The process evolved from a list of nearly 50 names. We cast a wide net and we had some really good conversations. We spoke to and vetted around 20 candidates and from there we interviewed 11. Our list included sitting head coaches as well as NFL coaches and assistant coaches. As our process continued to narrow, Deshaun continued to stand out above the rest. Through multiple conversations with Deshaun, he made clear his vision to us for this program. He talked about several core attributes. That's integrity, energy, teaching and developing the young men in the program, recruiting and the NIL space and providing opportunities and attacking that, and competing. One of the tenets he's most proud of is being a Bruin and his relationship with his alma mater. I know he deeply cares about this place, and that's really important to me. We wanted to find a leader and a teacher who cares about this university, who understands the value of a UCLA education, and who can connect with our student athletes. He embraces UCLA. He embraces these players and our university's community. And we're all going to do everything that we can to embrace him and support this program. This is a partnership, and we are all in this together. That's all of us. To our players, thank you for coming. Our coaching staff, our passionate alumni and fans, our donors, we need you all. This program doesn't excel without everybody on board. Two feet in, 10 toes down. Deshaun and I spoke about his vision for this program and what he wants this football team to look like. We spoke a lot about this. He can share more. But as he's played on the biggest of stages, both in college and in the NFL, he's seen what UCLA, UCLA looks like when the Rose Bowl is roaring. He's lived it. He's been in it. He gives me goosebumps talking about it. And believe me, he remembers it well, just like it was yesterday. He played here a little over 20 years ago, but if you start asking him about specific players, defenses, specific games, sequences, it's like it happened yesterday. His freshman season, 1998, his team won his first 10 games, beat USC for the eighth straight season, played in the Rose Bowl, he wants those guys to have those experiences, to make those memories, to have those moments. Since he retired from the NFL, he's worked his way up as a coach. He spent 11 years coaching in college, 10 of those right here at UCLA. 
he continues to evolve and grow as a coach. And we firmly believe that this is his time. He has earned this moment. I firmly believe that Deshaun is the right person to lead our program. He wants to compete for a chance to play in the college football playoff, to win at a high level in the Big Ten, to get the Bruins to the Rose Bowl. We believe that our program's future is in great hands. And with that, I would like to introduce you to our next head football coach, 2-6, Deshaun Foster. We've got a jersey for him. And because he played here, I got another one, a little throwback. A little throwback action, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, you? All right. Man, I was trying not to cry. Man. No, I got you. I you got know? you. Was I was trying not to. Thank you. Appreciate that. <laughs> Appreciate that. But, um, I was overcome by emotions, you know? Uh, this is a dream. This is a dream come true. <laughs> I was overcome by emotions. And um, one thing I would like to do, I want to thank Martin, um, our chancellor, Dean Block, just for giving me this opportunity to coach here at UCLA at my alma mater, you know? I've always dreamed about being a head coach and being at UCLA and being the head coach here at UCLA. You guys have no idea, just... <laughs> We have tried. Okay. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is something I built for, y'all. I, I can do this. this all right? I'm going to put all my passion into this. I'm here for these boys. I've been here for them. Okay? I've been here for them. I'm going to get this team playing hard. My three pillars, discipline, respect, and enthusiasm. You're going to see it. You're going to feel it. All right? We're going to get this Rose Bowl back to how it needs to be. We're in L.A. We are UCLA. This is a real university. This isn't a part-time school. We, we win banners in every sport. We can do I just got to get football back. I promise you I'm the man to do this. I want to thank my wife. My family, my parents are here, my sister, my two boys, my daughter, both my daughters. I'm just, I'm just overwhelmed by this, and I, I just want to get out here and show you guys this, what I can do this. I know I might not have the experience that certain other coaches have had, but I'm guaranteeing you that I am prepared for this job. I interviewed just like everybody else did. They came back with the best candidate. My whole life, I've, I've hit the ground running. I came in as a freshman, and I played big time ball early. My first carry in the NFL, I went 67 yards. Touchdown. This is what I do. I'm going to hit this ground running, all right? I'm going to get everything going, and this team is going to win games. And you're going to fly, and we're going to be sending an eight-clap. Listen, this is <laughs> – I'm, I'm getting fired up now. Now I'm ready to just coach some ball, but – I need everybody, all right? This isn't just a, a me thing. I need everybody in here. It's going to take the fans coming out. I need the donor support. I need the, the ex-players to come back. I need everybody. This is a family environment, and this is how it's going to be, okay? I just need to get out here and give me this opportunity. I'm proud. I'm excited. I'm going to do everything I have to do to make this team win. I just want to thank you again, Mark. <laughs> Who in here is not ready to go out and play right now? <laughs> Kidding me? Deshaun, that was awesome. Thank you. Thank you. That was one of the best <laughs> beginning press conferences I have ever seen. But now here comes the fun part. Okay. We have, <laughs> we have media here that I am sure have plenty of questions. 
So there is microphones that are going to be passed around. You can ask Martin or Deshaun. We probably should allow Mr. Jim Hill to go first. You know, something big's happening. Jim Hill first. Jim always. Hill is here. Jim Hill. No, don't, don't, don't start that now. <laughs> first of all, Deshaun, congratulations. Good luck. What does this outpouring of Bruins come here, fans come here, what does this tell you about what they expect from you? And I'd also like for you to talk about how emotional a day this is for you because you wear your emotions on your sleeve. Most people know I'm not a big crier. I'm not gonna come up here and just boo hoo, but I, I was, I couldn't help it. <laughs> Got you. <laughs> the one thing that I, it, I was just gonna be, see, <laughs> I'm caught, I'm caught up in emotion, but I'm just excited. All right, and you're gonna see that in this team. You're gonna see the excitement. We're gonna bring back the excitement. You know, people used to love coming to the Rose Bowl games, filling the stadium. It was jam-packed when I played in there. There's no games that I played in that weren't. It didn't matter who we were playing. We're going to get back to that. We're going to get back to that. But we're going to get back to just the details, playing fundamental football, getting out there playing hard, recruiting. We just got to circle the wagons, get everybody on the same page, and this is going to take off. But I'm excited, Jim. Appreciate you. I remember you coming to talk to us when we were a player and everything when I was. A lot of my teammates are here. They remember you also. So. This is a surreal moment, just coming all the way back around, you know, now I'm the head man here at UCLA. And whoever said you can't go back home, they do not know what they're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Jim, what do you think? Uh, ben Los Angeles Times. Coach Foster, uh, you've alluded to some of this already, but can you kind of articulate your specific vision for what you want this program to be and how you intend to fulfill that vision? So just basically it's my pillars, you know? So it's, a, it's discipline respect, and enthusiasm. That's the three things. We have to hit on that. You have to be disciplined to play football. Both sides of the football, both sides of the ball. Got to be disciplined. You know, you got to respect your game. Got to respect your teammates. Got to respect your opponent. And then you got to get out there and have fun. You know, kids have to, this is a different era of football. People like to have fun out there, you know? So we're going to have some fun. But you're going to do it in a, not a childish manner, in a team <clears throat> environment, a team aspect. Everybody's just on the same page and excited. Both sides of the ball. It's not, no division. Just playing. One team. One heartbeat. It's us. It's UCLA. It's what we're going to be. Hey, Coach. Uh, Joseph Crosby, Daily Brand. I'm over here. Mm -hmm. um, first thing, uh, on Friday, there was a lot of players uh, taking to social media to support you as a potential next head coach. Did you see that, those remarks, and um, I guess how did that make you feel? And also, yesterday, I think we all saw the video of the meeting room when you were embraced. Kind of, can you take us through the emotions of you know, this weekend from the, the hiring process into yesterday's team meeting? Well, I was probably on hole 11 on <laughs> Friday when, when stuff was going on. So my emotions, I was trying to keep it under control so I could win this golf game I was in with my boys. <laughs> but other than that, you know, I... I I didn't expect that from the players. You know, I knew I had a relationship with guys, but I didn't know that they would take that step. You know, go. players have voices. And I'm glad Martin was listening to them and, and they were heard. But, you know, I was just excited to see that some of my guys were really making it known who they wanted to be their coach. And, you know, they listened to them. And I'm just excited to be here sitting in the seat. Tracy McDonald, BroomBlitz.com and Rivals. Uh, first off, congrats, congratulations. Um, I think a lot of people, you alluded to it earlier, you know, being a first-time head coach, I think a lot of people are wondering how you're going to rent out the staff, whether you're going to bring in an offensive coordinator. What can you tell us about uh, your, your staff plans? Um, I'm going to go through and interview and process right now with the staff. And then um, after that, we'll finish that, and then I'll start figuring out what's going on from there. But I'm just uh, I'm interviewing my staff that's currently here and going from there. Dan Greenspan, as I say, press Martin, with uh, what sort of the public nature of Chip's negotiating with or interviewing with NFL teams before taking the Ohio State job, was there any consideration to trying to negotiate uh, a mutual settlement, considering firing? How'd that play out? Uh, today is about Deshaun and moving forward. <laughs> and so I'm going to keep those comments about him and this program moving forward, and we're excited about that. <laughs> Uh, 
Hi, Coach. Taylor Schaub, Spectrum News. Congratulations. It's been a whirlwind couple of days for you, really a whirlwind month. What has this been like to, to just try to process that you're now the head man at UCLA? It's been a whirlwind year for me, to be honest with you. I got married. I had a daughter. You know, just <laughs> life has been coming at me fast. But um, it's, just, it's just surreal. You know, this is a dream come true. You, not too many people are going to get an opportunity to be the head coach at their alma mater. You know, and me getting this, I'm, I'm very thankful for it. And, you know, I, I most definitely earned it, and I'm going to continue to, to work hard for the Bruin Nation. <clears throat> Deshaun, congrats. Hi, Mary Swanson, Southern California News Group. Um, what, what is your pitch to recruits and to donors? So with the donors, I mean with them tomorrow. I'm starting with a few donors tomorrow. We're going to get going, so starting tomorrow. <laughs> but with, for recruits, most of the running back recruits out in the nation know how I am. But just for people outside of that, this is a family atmosphere. You know, you're going to get developed to be a professional. You know, I've, Josh Kelly's here, right there, right? Josh Kelly's here. That's somebody that I developed, you know? He's a great back. I, I was able to develop him. He's in NFL, so that's our thing, you know? Just like I tell my players, Meek Mill, they're chasing dreams. We're catching them, you know? We're dream catchers. That's what we're doing. Congrats, Deshaun. Uh, Dave Woods, Bruin Report Online. Um, NIL has obviously changed the game in recruiting. I know you've experienced that as an assistant. Mm -hmm. What's kind of your plan at this point for, obviously, UCLA's position isn't great at the moment, but building up NIL funds? And uh, have you had conversations yet about with donors and that sort of thing? I've had conversations, but it's just mostly I got to get in front of everybody and let them know my my uh, direction, just my vision, how I, how I see this. So. Get in front of everybody. Let's give them the vision. And if they're on board, let's go. Yeah. And, and he has a meeting scheduled tomorrow with men of Westwood. So we're, we're on it. Coach, John W. Davis with the Southern California News Group. Congratulations. Uh, I primarily cover high school football in this area. And I know that you're known in this area. What is it going to mean for the specific landscape here locally that – like you played here, you know, not just at UCLA, but even on a high school level. How do you feel like that can benefit you going forward, especially as a new coach trying to make your name here? I think at this at the point of my career, I know a lot of high school coaches. Either played against them, um, maybe coached somebody that they know. So there's a lot of relationships that I have. But we're taking this nationally. This isn't just a local California, L.A. thing. This is a national recruiting how I played when I was here at UCLA. Our brand is nationally. We don't have to downplay it to just being West Coast, you know? Some of our Hall of Famers aren't even from California. Big O, Kenny Easley, Troy Aikman. So this isn't about just recruiting California kids. We're most definitely going to take care of our backyard, but this is going to be a national recruiting thing and I'm, my boys are ready to hit the ground running and I am too. <clears throat> Jack Nelson, Daily Bruin. Uh, congratulations, Coach. Um, this upcoming season certainly figures to be a bit of a test uh, for the program. Not only are you moving to the Big Ten, but you also have one of the top strengths of schedule in the country coming up this season. Uh, what's going to be your definition of success uh, in terms of this team moving forward in your first year as head coach? Winning games. So got to get out there. There's no other. I'm not, I'm not here for a hidden agenda. Oh, we played well. Not, none of that. We got to win games. You know, I'm a Bruin too, so this isn't just I'm happy to be in this seat. We, I'm trying to produce. I want to get guys. We got to win games to get players. So well, that's what we're going to do. Hey, Deshaun. James Williams, Southern California News Group. Um, you talked about the high school recruits and whatnot, but what about the guys on your current roster? Um, are you going to try and meet with them one on one, or what will that process look like? So I've already met with each. I met with the team, and then I met with each position group one on one. So I've knocked our players out. Um, that's just like I said. I'm on to the staff next, donors, and keep going as a force or you know. <clears throat> Coach Foster, can you kind of take us through the last 24 hours since you uh, were named the coach, what you've done, uh, what it's been like? <laughs> I've, I've tried to look at my phone, but that's not, you know. 
I got a, over a thousand messages. I haven't even been able to eat. It's it's just <laughs> it's just weird. You know, this is it's something like I've played in Super Bowls. I've got drafted. I've had I've had kids, and just this feeling is such a different one. But you know, it's been a, it's been a um, exciting ride, roller coaster. You know, just filled with emotions. But I got a lot of people here to support me. You can see it. You know, so I, I'm in good hands. <clears throat> Coach, Eric Lampkin is the second Culver City Observer. Um, Los Angeles is a battleground for college football, and UCLA has been a proverbial afterthought on the radar of many Angelinos and Californians, uh, California recruits. Um, this is evident in the death of attendance at the Rose Bowl. What is your message to the city about where Bruin football is headed? We're going to give them something to want to come see. That's what it is. It's, that's that's all it is. I'm going to give you something that you want to you want to be a part of. You want to come out and support this. So I just got to get everybody on the same page. People are excited about you know keep this excitement all the way into spring. Come out of spring. Let's get into this fall. And I think the sky's the limit for us. Uh, Martin, do you have a fixed number for uh, assistant pool yet? No, we're working through all of that. Deshaun's got to get through his evaluations of the staff, and then we're further assessing what we need. Uh, but we have a plan in place, uh, but it's going to change based on those conversations and those meetings. Deshaun, uh, with Chip's uh, departure, there's going to be a transfer window that opens. Uh, based on your conversations with the different position groups and the different players, what are you anticipating for that? We should be in a good spot. Yeah. <laughs> From what I from what I gather, we should be in a good spot. As of this morning, no one has gone into the transfer portal, and that that shows you uh, how these young men feel about him. Uh, Coach Foster, uh, do you have any uh, thoughts on uh, what kind of schemes you want to run offensively, or do you think your offensive coordinator you'll just hire someone and let them handle that, or? How well, I'm going to hire somebody that has my type of DNA, what I'm looking for. I don't want to just put that out there yet. So <laughs> if I could just give me a little bit of time. And then once I hire somebody, then I get into depth about what we're doing. OK. <clears throat> so how do you replace the best running back coach in America? <laughs> Man. I'm still going to It's true, it. people. I'm I mean, I mean <laughs> honestly, we run the ball well. You're not going to answer that. You don't have to. Another gonna, question. To, to how trust is me, who, I, who I get in here will be. Oh, yeah. It will be a guy. Okay. How about how is Deshaun Foster going to handle the media? How about awesome? <laughs> Are you not impressed? Thank you. So all I can say to, to end this is, and, and don't leave yet, but I'm going to say this right now. This is awesome. If you're not excited about the future, then whatever. I don't get it. Um, Go Bruins. This is going to be an awesome, awesome. Everything that's coming up is going to be amazing. We're not done, though. If you still have questions and want some more one-on-one -on -one stuff, um, I think these two are still going to be available over in that area along with some former players. So if you're in the media and you want to ask some more questions, uh, you may do so. Let's hear it one more time for our head coach, Deshaun Foster. <laughs> of emotion, a lot of enthusiasm, as you can see at the Pavilion Club at Pauley and UCLA, announcing Deshaun Foster as its new head football coach. Dave Rebson back here with Anthony Heron, and we certainly saw a lot of emotion from Deshaun Foster. I think one of the things that Martin Jarman emphasized when he introduced Foster as the new head coach to the team yesterday was the notion that this is someone who wants to be here, right. and it's pretty clear that's the case. This is some place that is near and dear to his heart, and that was something that really stood out to me. I can only imagine if, if I would have stuck with the coaching route, how I would feel if I had gotten, you know, the opportunity to be the head coach uh, of Hawkeye football and just what that emotion would have been like. And I think we saw that for one of the all-time great players in this program's history. And UCLA football will benefit from an infusion of investment. The, the capital investment that was alluded to with, you know, he's going to meet with donors right off the bat. 
an infusion of emotion, an infusion of passion. And we saw that emotion and that passion on display in Deshaun Foster as well. And so for those elements of UCLA football, what will help with the Rose Bowl becoming again one of the most raucous atmospheres at this you know, sort of majestic venue of college football? They're going to need that. They're going to need that from the fan bases. They're going to benefit from that, from their head coach and what he will mean to the program. And I did like hearing, Dave, that both Martin Jarman and Deshaun Foster talked about him meeting with the assistant coaches. He knows this staff, but there's been some conjecture out there that there won't be decisions to be made in that regard. But this will be the first real task for him in now being a head coach for the first time. Who will work with him? What will the future of Bruins football look like? And now we get to watch Deshaun Foster start to craft that future. It's going to be fascinating to see how he moves forward. Again, first head coaching job for him. There is clearly a lot of work to be done, but I think anyone who's followed college football for any amount of time knows there is unlimited potential. Right. This is a program that can win at the very highest levels. Thanks so much for joining us. See you next time.